What in the world is this arcade mode? So what's the balance here? Ever heard the new alt voice lines? Make sure to listen for Castle. Okay. Wait. Wait, I have a roll meter? I legitimately have a roll meter. Why? What the? What in the? I love that Maywall. Okay, that should just be a thing. All right, chat. You ready? It's time. We just learned how OP this is. I love it. Oh, that's great. I'm not even gonna question it. Is there patch notes for this, by the way, anywhere? It's in game? Okay, let me read the patch notes after this. Are you ready? It's time. Okay, ready? Corp says the floor is lava. Wait, I'm not gonna get my tire. Yeah, that, that's how I get the limbs here. Got him. Okay, where is the... Are the patch notes in-game? All right. Overwatch 2, work in progress. Very serious patch notes. Draft, do not publish. Here we go. Developer note, test patch. These changes are only being applied to arcade mode for the moment because Aaron Keller claims he can convene with Patch Amari and they told him to make this patch. He only plays the new arcade mode, so he shouldn't notice otherwise. All heroes. All heroes have new ultimate voice lines. Keep 50% of ultimate charge when swapping heroes. Developer comment. Veteran players have an advantage over newer ones when it comes to voice line recognition. In order to level the playing field, we've written and recorded new ultimate voice lines for every hero. To help players learn these new call-outs, we've also increased the amount of ultimate charge retained when swapping heroes. That's true. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Makes a lot of sense, actually. Tank roll passive. Gain ultimate charge 10% faster. The hero that gets the final blow on a tank gains a significant amount of ultimate charge. Tank heroes are the raid bosses of teams. You should be fairly rewarded for defeating them, right? Yeah, true. Yeah, not wrong. Heal 50 heal fifty health on elimination. It's frustrating when you dive the back line by yourself and get no healing, especially when your team support heroes are busy respawning. This change should help keep you alive at least. Yeah, I like that change. And yeah, that's pretty good. No, that's about right. Because I feel like a lot of the time when I'm playing Genji and I dive into the back line and my supports aren't healing me 55 meters behind their spawn, it's not my fault, it's my teammates. I get that. Support roll passive. Gain 30% increased movement speed for four seconds when re reaching low health. It's tough to stay alive when flankers are... Flankers? Was my Boston accent coming out again? Flankers are about. This chain should even out the odds a bit when you get ambushed. Please don't use this offensively. This is a troll? No. No, I'm not going to get a medium regular. Doomfist. Can be empowered by power block, seismic slam. Damage increased from 50 to 75 when empowered. Enemies hit by the shockwave are launched into the air. The empowered fist can also level a skyscraper or open a glass jar in a single attempt. Oh, I like that. Uh, Hone, thanks for the three months of the tier one. Thank you. Appreciate it. Diva, developer comment. It turns out the beams used to destroy projectiles are also really hurt when used on people. Oh, I, I didn't read the other part. That made no sense for a second. Okay. After deflecting projectile... Defense Matrix deals 30 damage to enemies with its area effect over one second. Defense Matrix kill and blows grant an additional 5% ult charge. Okay. Joker Queen! Develop- Oh, Command and Shout. Applies a bleed to enemies in range when activated. By the way, this is completely random. I just realized this, and I know this has nothing to do with this patch, but I realized that when the developer comment is up here, I'm more than likely, likely to read the developer comment before I'm likely to read the patch. I wonder if it was on the bottom here, how that would be. That's completely random, right? But I always end up reading the developer comment first. Nom, but if nom, the patch nom, note was nom, a... nom, 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 I wonder if the patch note was below if I would more likely read that and then see the reaction to it. Uh, Tuba, thanks for the two months of the tier one. Thank you, appreciate it. Sorry, I just completely just 
First thing I saw there. Thank you for the two months. All right. Applies a bleed to enemies in range when activated. Command and shout? Oh, I like that. That's just... You should put that in the game. You should put that in the game. Developer comment. Dunker Queen yells so loud she damages the eardrums of her foes. Don't worry, though. It's still a friendly shout of encouragement for her allies. All right. I like that. Arissa. Javelin spin. While in the air, Javelin spin pulls Arissa forward in her face and direction. Fortify. Increases fallen speed and deals damage in an area when Arissa lands on the ground. I like this. It is believed that the threat of Arissa's aerial body slam is the biggest crime deterrent in Nambani. I like it. Ramatra. Omnic form disabled. Ramatra is now always a nemesis form. We just made this last night. We just made... We just had this made last night for the 1v5. Bonus armor decreased from 225 to 125. Void barrier. Why, why, why do I have a Boston accent today? I, I, I know I'm from Massachusetts, but now everything's a Boston accent for me. Yeah, let's look at the void barrier. Void barrier. Move to ability one. Block. Now has a one second cooldown when disengaged. Ramatra is a lot more effective when he's in Nemesis form. So he'll stay like that until everyone has suffered as much as he has. Oh, okay. Understandable. This patch also includes a new Boston accent voice line for me. Oh, that's what it is. Okay, I didn't realize that. Oh, thank you, Gavin. <laughs> All right. Charge now grants flight. Hold jump to float up and crouch to go down. Staring increased by 33%. Reinhardt comment. What's this a Reinhardt comment? I couldn't charge the enemies that were in the air, so I asked Torb to help me out. Now I am the ultimate crushing machine, even in the sky. Real talk, I hope the PvE has some lore where Torb is constantly helping out heroes to create really cool abilities. Imagine if that's a part of the PvE lore. Like, obviously, Torb already does that, and, like, you know, Torb and Brig and all that, but I, like, I wonder if, like, there'll be, like, a, a lore behind that. Well, I gotta let SK know him. One second. Uh, uh, uh... Currently reading patch notes. I had to type that in all caps. I don't know why I had to be in all caps, but I had to. All right. Roadhog. Chain hook range increased by 50%. I, I like that change. Chat, you like that change? In order to further align Roadhog as a tank who punishes bad position, we've increased the range of hook to make all position and bad position. In. I like that. Sigma. Enemies hit by the impact are knocked back and experience low gravity for four seconds. Cooldown decrease from 10 to 8 seconds on the rock. Um, I'm just going to say energy is quite potent. If it's strong enough to lift a giant rock, it can lift anyone. I agree. Uh, Miss Misty, thanks for the tier 1. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, Winston. Winston. Developer comment. Winston. All right. Uh, just Winston. That's it. Just Winston. All right. Wrecking Ball. Maximum speed. Is temporarily increased when bouncing off walls. This is this is my moment. Let's go. This is a patch made for me. Blizzard has seen my pinball Peter, right? My wrecking ball has always been called pinball Peter. All right. If you keep this in the game, I'm gonna be one of the best wrecking balls in the game. Minefield. Mine slow. Move towards nearby enemies. Listen. Everybody loves CC and Overwatch, right? Why not add more? Uh, developer comment. Wrecking Ball unleashes his signature moves that made him the champion of the Scrapyard Battle Arena. The lore behind that is uh, Wrecking Ball's in a lot of, like, the Junker Town stuff. So, no chat. Let's not get into Captain Crunch here. If, if anybody wondering from Blizzard why chat's talking about Captain Crunch, chat decided that this game needs, uh, Overwatch needs a Captain Crunch collab and it kept coming up with collabs is how that would work. It was a whole thing yesterday. Uh, Ash, developer comment. Oh, sorry, no. Fire spreads the nearby enemies up to four times. Oh, yeah. Yeah, tick damage and dot damage, even better. That's going to be great. Uh, in, in order to be more accurate to the fantasy, Dynamite Fire now spreads between players. Wonderful. Wonderful. I was hoping for that. Bastion. While active, Tactical Grenade has a 0.5 second cooldown. Oh, no. Bastion downloaded the software update, upgrade, and configuration assault. And allowing it to simulate his old configuration tank. Oh, no. Cassidy, combat roll. Now costs regenerate in stamina instead of having a cooldown. Dodge all damage when combat roll is active. Ammo reload decrease from 6 to 2. 
Cassidy can dodge anything using his cat-like reflexes. It's a bit rough on his spine, though. I was going to say something to Sully, but he's downstairs. Are these real? I mean... Hey, listen. We've been hearing about wanting to shift up the balance a little bit going into Season 4, right? You know, make each season feel fresh. They got rid of map pools. They had to do something, right? You know? Got rid of map pools. Had to do something to make the game a little bit more fresh on each season. Just saying. <clears throat> Try shot. Now fires two additional projectiles. Damage per projectile decreased from 17 to 12. Echo now uses more of her fingers when shooting enemies. Sometimes Genji heals himself when requesting healing. Developer comment. Spamming a voice line for healing finally does something after everyone else has tuned you out. <laughs> I'm going to have to play Genji again. Hanzo. The, uh, Storm Arrow. Storm Arrow's ricochet towards the Sonic Arrow. Wait. So if I put a Sonic Arrow, I can then use Storm Arrow to go to it? Developer comment. Hanzo spent many years mastering the bow and geometry to pull off this feat. It definitely has nothing to do with magic. True. Junkrat. Drops grenades when launching yourself with a concussion mine. Junkrat was a bit careless when packing his grenades. So now they spill out of his pockets whenever he knocks himself back. That's what was happening when I was playing Junkrat. May. Spawns more pillars and has slightly different configuration. I'm going to be honest with you. We can make a May custom game right now and we could be playing Fortnite. Because with the way the ice wall is right now, it looks so cool in game. I actually liked it. We noticed a, de a decrease in May players helping their team group up and spawn with ice wall. This is a core to May's gameplay, so we added additional ice pillars to help facilitate it. Oh, I love that. I love that. Farah, rocket launcher. Rocket deals no self damage and have increased knockback. Barrage. Barrage can be knocked back while barrage is active. Barrage rockets now have self knockback. Does everybody get knocked back here? Hover jets. Fuel decreased by 33%. Developer, developer comment. Rocket jump? Sounds dangerous, but it is a viable means of travel when you can't afford enough fuel. Okay. Okay. Reaper. Developer, okay, Shadow Step. Movement is no longer locked after confirming a teleport location. After getting shot one too many times, Reaper no longer poses in place before teleporting despite it looking very cool. Oh, no. Sojourn. Power Slide. Now impacts enemies dealing 75 damage, launching them upward and knocking them down for 1.5 seconds. Sojourn hasn't been performing quite up to our expectations after reducing her one-shot potential. To remedy this, we've added a very fair stun to her kit. You know what I love about this, by the way? And, and, and I think a lot of chat will see this too. I love the way they put the first sentence on this one, by the way. Okay? And that is, Sojourn hasn't been performing quite up to our expectations. And I love that because there was a, a while for the first few seasons where a lot of what was talked about with Sojourn was how Sojourn wasn't performing up to, like, you know, in certain ranks. I love that the patch note and the developer comment was, like, right in tune with how they've been... <laughs> like, that's the best part. And then adding a stun? I love that. Soldier 76. Biotic Field. Now attached to Soldier 76 when activated. Why leave it on the ground when you can keep it in your pocket instead? I mean, that's fair. Right? Good change. I like that. Sombra. Translocator. Now deals 120 damage in an area at the teleport destination. Honestly, perfect for me because I always forget to put my translocator down. Projectile speed increased from 25 to 40. Cooldown decreased from 10 to 6 seconds. As a safety measure, the translocator will forcibly separate solid objects that have been teleported into each other. Unfortunately, this process is also quite painful. Oh, okay. Symmetra. Turrets can now target enemies while in flight. Oh, no. 
Turrets have 60% damage resistance before sticking to terrain. It turns out there was a set-in on sentry turrets that lets them immediately target enemies when thrown. Symmetra estimates this change increases their efficiency by 32.33% repeating, of course. Whoever wrote this played some World of Warcraft. Yep, there's some World of Warcraft being played here. For anybody who doesn't know about this one, or what any of this means, if you haven't seen Leroy Jenkins, then you'll know what this means. <laughs> you'll know what that means, alright? That was a classic. Alright, Torb. Now all, uh, Overload now also causes Rivet Gun and Forge Hammer to ignite enemies, dealing 30 additional damage over time. We notice that Tor relies a little too heavily on his turret to deal consistent damage. So you won't believe this one simple balance change that fixes that and makes him 1,000% overpowered. I mean, can't argue that, right? Can't argue that. Tracer. Um, recall, pulls in nearby enemies when activated. Oh, no. Pulse Bomb. Arm in time increased from 1 to 2 seconds. Tracer now leaves a vacuum when she recalls into the past. We are pretty sure this is how time travel works and we'll be taking no questions. I mean, that's fair. I mean, no, can you argue that? Can you even argue that? I don't think so. Like, uh, Widowmaker. Widow's, Widow's Kiss. Critical hits deal their damage over three seconds as a poison. Widowmaker can see, see poisoned enemies through walls. Poisonous bullets don't work as quickly as normal ones do, but at least there's no more room for counterplay. I mean, at least there's more room for counterplay. Kind of a good change, to be honest with you. Honestly, that's, pro that's probably going to be in, like, the Season 5 or Season 6 patch. I'm just testing it out now. All right. Ana. Biotic Rifle can now headshot enemies. Turns out whatever is in those syringes hurts a lot more when applied to the forehead. Yeah, true. Yeah, no, that's that's good. I like that. I'm gonna try that one out. Yeah, exo boots for BAP. Jumping with exo boots has more horizontal distance. Scaling with the charge amount. Hold jump after using exo boots to keep bouncing. Developer comment: Rumor has it that Baptiste is the record holder for both high and long jump. Oh, this is gonna be. <laughs> you said are these uh, April Fool's patch notes? No, it's it's March 31st. Oh, these, these are patch notes. The April Fool's patch notes will be tomorrow. Yeah. Brig. Uh, Brig is pulled towards the flail head. Whip shot. Now, whip shot now whips you. Works better if you say we while flailing about. All right, we're about to find out. Kiriko. Range increase. Kiriko. Range on swift step increased from 35 to 350 meters. Cooldown now scales with distance travel. I'm going to be honest with you. If I try to... Kiriko, uh, it, it's a big town, and Kiriko has a lots of protecting to do. This change should help her get to where she needs to get in a timely fashion, especially during rush hour. I'm going to try every one of these heroes. This sounds so fun. Lucio, sound wave, now to flex projectiles. Okay, I'm, I'm starting to think the person in the chat yesterday that said it's unfair that... that um, Diva and Genji can't deflect projectiles, and it, it was in, this was in the chat. Now deflects projectiles, cooldown in, decreased from four to three seconds. We've alerted that Soundway was able to knock back entire heroes, but couldn't do anything to projectiles. We've corrected this logical inconsistency. Yeah, true. True. Yep. Mercy. I love this because you remember how much chat memed on the 20 to 25 ammo increase, <laughs> right? Like, it happened. You know, they, they, they did a change to Mercy that made it 20 to 25. They were like, yeah, we added some damage to Mercy. Well, you know what Blizzard said to that? The blaster has ammo increased from 25 to 125 bullets. 
Projectile speed increased from 50 to 125. Developer comment. Our stats show that Battle Mercy that the Battle Mercy playstyle isn't as common as we hoped. Here's a small change that should nudge her damage potential in the right direction. I love the patch note to that too because it's exactly how they would word it when the ammo was increased from 20 to 25. That's the best part about this. Moira. Biotic Orb. Pressing the ability input while Biotic Orbs are active causes them to stop or start moving. Developer comment. You know that random orb that killed you from across the map? That was 100% intentional. Biotic Orbs follows Moira's every command, though they only understand stop and go. I feel like that'd be a fun, like, custom game mode. Moira Orb stop and go. Wouldn't that be fun? Like, red light, green light? I don't know. I just, I just realized that. That'd be kind of fun. All right, anyway. Zenyatta. Developer comp. Oh, was, oh, snap kick. Launches Zenyatta in his face and direction when used in the air. Zenyatta calls this technique the flying kick. But since he's always floating, should it just be called kick? Deep question. That's a deep question. And those are the patch notes for the Overwatch 2 work in progress. Very serious patch notes. Draft, do not publish. Now, I've been having a question asked a lot. Is this an April Fool's patch notes? Well, I mean, this is on March 31st. I don't think so. But yes, it, this is April Fool's chat. It's, it's probably on a Friday because I didn't want to put the patch note on a Saturday. Because then if you have to put something up on a Saturday and everything's broken, it's a lot easier to try and fix that on a Friday than on a Saturday. So, yeah, it is. Yeah, exactly. So, having this go out on a Friday instead of a Saturday makes a lot more sense. What do you think about the patch notes, Sully? What do you think? You like them? You want to see me play some of them? All right, sounds good. We can do that. Anything else? All right. <laughs> 